welcome back to another episode of C3 Comics. As always, I'm your host, C3. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by, checking us out. It's a great day for comics. Bunch of books on the shelves. A lot of different artwork out there. Made it very, very difficult for me to choose from. So, I want to jump right into the haul today. Um, but before we do, I just want to say what's up to some new subscribers and some people that i just been chatting with in the comment section uh, back and forth. Uh, so, first off, I want to shout out uh, Jibs. Uh, he was recommended from Instagram. I appreciate you subbing to the channel, my friend. Uh, I'll do my best to not let you down, not disappoint. Uh, we do a lot of comic book hauls. We do a lot of uh, unboxings. Uh, I do a lot of weekend warrior type stuff where I go out on the weekend, grab a bunch of comics, come back and show you guys what I found. Every now and again, I might purchase a collection or two and run it across you guys and let you see what I got. You know, so, uh, you know, just all for the love of comics. That's what we do over here. All right. So I appreciate you, Jim. Thank you very much. Um, next person we want to shout out is ICT Vinny. What's up, homie? We appreciate the sub, man. Good looking. All right. And holler at me because I think I got something for you. Keep your eye on me, ICT. I think I got something for you. All right. So just keep watching. Uh, next, uh, I want to shout out... Uh, the Low Grade Hero. I love that name. The Low Grade Hero. I, that's a beautiful thing because you are absolutely right. Low grade is better than no grade. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody don't got 9-8 money. So, hey, I'll settle for an 8, 8.0. I'll settle for a 5-5, a five, five, you know, or if I got to go lower than that to get my hands on the book that I desire, yeah, I'm all over that. So, yes, you're absolutely right. The Low Grade Hero. Low grade is better than no grade. Appreciate the sub, man. Good looking. All right? And uh, last but definitely not least, I just want to shout the homie out, Flash by Night. You know? I know he might be just checking us out, trying to feel us out, see what see what we up to over here at C.3. You know, he you know he may sub, he may not sub. We'll see what happens. But anything other than that, Flash by Night. What's good, homie? I hear you. All right? So... Without further ado, that was the shout outs. Now let's get back to these comics. All right. So I'm going to start off with the only book from DC that I picked up this week, which was um, strictly a cover by. I was just intrigued by this cover. Um, I still have to do my homework to find out who put the pencil to this thing because this thing is fire. All right. So I grabbed Batman Black and White issue number two with this beautiful cover right here. Man, I, I left the store. I had to go back and get it. I left it. It was the only one on the shelf. I said, man, I did a U-turn. I went right back and grabbed it, yo. I had to. It had my name written all over it. Batman, black and white, issue number two. Just a beautiful cover, man. Whoever was on those pencils killed it. That right there. Fire all day. All day. Excellent. All right. So that's what I grabbed from DC. Next, we're going to jump into image. And I grabbed uh, Department of Truth, issue number five. I grabbed the puppet variant, the puppet master variant. Department of Truth, a very, very interesting read. For those of you who have not been reading this comic, definitely check it out, man. Really good book. It's all about conspiracies. For all my conspiracy theorists out there, and, I, and I'm probably one myself because I'm always talking about conspiracies. There's always, there's always a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy to commit a conspiracy around this piece. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yo, know, Department of Truth is definitely a good book. Check it out. Uh, so we're going to stick with Image for a second. And the next one we got from Image is, is my boy Todd McFarlane Spawn, issue number 314. I, I copped that black and white joint. You know, I'm a sucker for pencils, man. That 
to have that pencil work with Todd McFarlane, man, that's 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 a, that's straight. Man, I can't even explain it. McFarlane is one of my favorite artists. One of them. Todd McFarlane, folks. Spawn. Issue number 314. All right? So now we're going to switch over to IDW. And I grabbed that, uh, ama uh which one is it? The Amazing Spider-Man homage cover for Star Wars Adventures, Smuggler's Run. This is issue number two. Han Solo and Chewbacca. The spotlight on them. that one all right next up we're going to switch over to dynamite and this is uh that that namor sub submariner variant uh and this is betty page for those of you who are familiar with that submariner cover you know which one it is not to mention that miss page is looking Night, quite nice on this page. She's a quality woman. Sophisticated lady. Hey, lady. And speaking of lady, shout out to Lady Fantastic too, man. Shout out to Lady Fantastic. I finally got a chance to holler at her on Instagram uh, the other night, man. Next up, we're switching to Boom Studio now. This was on the shelf. I grabbed it. I'm going to grab them every time I see them. I don't care what nobody say. Uh, but this is Something's Killing the Children. This is issue number 10. It was on the shelf, so I grabbed it. I don't know why they left it there, but I figured they left it there for me because I'm not leaving any of these on the shelves when I see them. And if you know like I know, you won't either. All right? So moving right along, from Boom Studios, I picked up Something is Killing the Children, and this is issue number 14. I can't wait to read this. Can't wait to read it. Definitely digging this. This has been one of the hottest stories coming out of 2020 into 2021. And you know I picked up another one for spits and giggles. Definitely. Excellent. All right. So, those are the indies. Now we're going to talk about Marvel a little bit. All right? And we're going to start off with that one per store, and that is that Captain Marvel joint that came out, issue number 24. The artwork is done by Juan Cabal. He's one of those new artists that's coming out from Stormbreaker. Get a little play action here. Juan Cabal. Am I pronouncing that right? I hope so. I apologize if I butcher your name. But I think I got you. It's a beautiful cover. One per store. Yo, the funny part about this, man, right? When I walked in the store, when I walked in the store, it was laying on the counter. I said to the owner of the shop, I said, wow, you must, you must have this out here for me. You must have known I was coming, right? He already had it priced at eight bucks. So I'm sitting on the shelf. I go back. It's got a it's got a it's got a uh, sticker on it. And then he tells me, Oh, I, I didn't price it up. So it's gonna be fifteen dollars. You know, I'm not finna argue with nobody. Your shop, your store, do what you want to do. You know, I pay for what I want. Let me get that. Fifteen bucks, man. He jacked it up right in front of me. Looked on, looked on the internet, jacked the price right up, man. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about that? When a shop owner looks on eBay and jacks the price up on you. Somebody talk to me about that. Let me know your thoughts, man. I could have got upset, but I'm like, man, whatever. Let me get it anyway. All right? All right, so next up for Marvel. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. Because it was just so many of them. I missed, I missed the first cover A. So that had me just fuming. I was upset. 
And I didn't want that FOMO to set in. You know about that FOMO. That FOMO, that FOMO would do something, do something to you. But it was out there. It was on the shelf, cover price. So I grabbed it. Daredevil, issue number 25, second printing. You know, that first appearing of uh, Elektra as Daredevil. I wasn't going to do it because I, you know, crazy print run. But I said, let me just grab one just in case. Just in case. Chip Zdarsky, killing this book. Make sure you get over it. Make sure you get on that. Because uh, if it wasn't for my boy, uh, Rod DeRica, I would have missed out. But he put me on this. Rod put me on Daredevil. This is issue number 26. And it's been a great read, man. Excellent read. And for those of you who don't know, keep your eye out because there's a third printing coming. There's a third print. And you know those third prints, man. Very low print run. So you're going to definitely want to get on that. Uh, you could try eBay or definitely, uh, I know myself, I go through Unknown Comics. So find Unknown Comics and grab you a couple of copies of that third print, man. Because that, that, that third print cover is fire, too. It's more like a black and white sketch cover. Uh, so check it out. And I know it's going to have a lower print run than uh, the second print. So you may want to get on that. All right. So sticking with Marvel. Next thing we got is one of my favorite breeds. And this is coming from Scotty Young and Alberto Ramos. This is Strange Academy. Issue number seven. Cover A. Really, really enjoying this. I grabbed a couple, you know, for the spec box, right? And then who knows? I might want to give one away. Here's the variant. It's an excellent story. Scotty Young really, really doing his thing over there. All right. Next from Marvel, I'm reading this. I haven't been reading it, but I'm reading it because it is a King and Black tie-in. But I am also a very, very big fan of Deadpool. And this cover is... <laughs> this cover is dope, man. This cover is dope. So, Deadpool issue number 10. The King, man. King Deadpool. King Pool. <laughs> this is fire. Love it. Love it. Can't wait to see how he ties into King and Black. All right? And the final book that I purchased, um, I want to show you guys. And that book is Wolverine, issue number nine. And I believe it's the first appearance of some type of auction house. That they're selling, uh, I guess, parts or pieces of Wolverine or some type of belongings or something. A Wolverine. Issue number nine, though. Great stuff. Right? So... Those are the books that I picked up for New Comic Book Day, January 27, 27, 2021. I hope you saw something you like. If there's something that you think I might miss, leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is. Maybe I can double back, pick it up. Um, continue to keep an eye on the channel. Oh, yeah, that's right. Before we go. Remember, our 300 subscriber. Our 300 subscriber sub giveaway is the Immortal Hawk issue number two, the fourth printing. We want to give this book away. We're almost there, people. So let's keep on pushing. As soon as we reach 300 subs, we're going to give this book away. All right? I'm looking forward to it. So let's keep on going. Let's keep the momentum moving forward. I'm really excited about giving this book away. So, and anyone who is interested in, uh, 
getting getting their names put into the sub uh, giveaway. Just re watch the video, leave a, leave a comment, and at the end of your comment, put the hashtag Keep It Comics. All right, and we'll be giving that away. All right, now real quick, if you guys want to, I could pop open a couple boxes for you real quick just to see what came in the mail. How about we do that? You game? Let's do it. Let me grab my blade. All right. These were waiting for me when I came in. My daughter was like, didn't you just get comics? <laughs> I told her to mind her business and be quiet before her mother hears her. <laughs> Try to stick me out. Try to get me in trouble. Try to blow up my spot. So let's see what we got, huh? Love it. Nice and secure. Definitely appreciate that. Got the painter's tape. that pop pop two more bam I like it nice <laughs> moving right along all right here we go you guys ready Okay, so, now, these books, we got to give a shout out to Jim Comics because he's the one who put the information out there. He got the information for someone and gave that individual a shout out. I got the information from Jim Comics, so I'm going to shout Jim Comics out because he the one who put me on to uh, Avengers issue number uh, one and six of Heroic Age. And that is the first appearance of Azari T'Challa, the Black Panther and Storm's son. So we got issue number one, which is the cameo appearance. And we have issue number six, which is the full appearance. All right. And the crazy part about it is, is I found another one of these while I was at the comic shop today too. Um, so these these two right here, I paid uh, $7 a piece for, plus shipping and handling, right? Which is not bad. I'm okay with that. I'll pay for that. Uh, but I do see where those eBay prices are going just absolutely bonkers. And the one that I found at the, uh, at the comic shop today was $4. So you're talking about $20 for both of these books. That's fine. I'm cool with that. I don't have a problem with that. You know, that that's fair, you know, because the person who's taking the time to package them up and, uh, and, and, and sell them, they need to turn a profit for it too. But, you know, they're out there in the wild, people. So definitely hit those dollar bins up. Go check those back issues because these books are out there and they're easily to find. They're easy to find. But catch them before they dry up because the spec is real. The spec game is definitely real. You know what I mean? Uh, there is a possibility. Anything's possible with the way Marvel's going. They said, Kevin Feige said that he would not recast the Black Panther. So anything's possible. They could double down and, uh, and bring Storm and Black Panther's son to the forefront. He could come a little later, maybe after, uh, Shuri and, and grab the mantle. You never know. So, you know, the spec game, it's all fun. And if not, guess what? You got the first appearance of T'Challa and Storm's son for pennies on the dollar, man. You know what I mean? You can't argue with that. So check it out. See what happens, you know? Catch it. Two beautiful crispy copies, too. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. How about we do one more? Let's do it.
Perfecto. I like it. Shout out to my to, to my eBay sellers with the painter's tape, man. I, I, I like that painter's tape. That painter's tape, come on. Appreciate that. At least I can get it off. Okay. Okay. All right, people. Here we go. Maxwell Prince, haha, ha. issue number one. Cover A and cover B. However you want it. This is going to be a hot comic. And everybody's got to catch them because they're going to dry up fast. There was a there was a pretty significant print run on these, but it was such a sought after book that they're definitely disappearing off the shelves, right? So I grabbed these, I pre ordered these, and they finally got here. For some reason, I don't know why people take so long to send them. It's like they try to wait and see if the book gonna get hot, and then they tell you, "Oh, the book was damaged, so I had to refund your money." You know how people do anything. <laughs> you know how it is. But look, they finally got here. I'm glad. I've got several copies of these. I've got quite a few copies of these now. I'm super happy to have this in my collection. Um, man, I can't help but tell you, man. I see T. Vinny. If you're interested in this cover A, hit me up on Instagram. And me and you going to handle that, all right? That's it, man. That's how simple it is. You know? It ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. Uh, I know we got, you know, we're waiting for the 300 sub giveaway, but at the end of the day, the homie said he missed out on that. So I want to make sure he gets one of those. I got a couple of them sitting around. I got a few of them just laying around. So if you're interested, ICT Vinny, hit your boy up. Hit me on Instagram. You know, you know the IG. And let me know if you're interested. If you're interested, man, this will come flying at you faster than the hard rock in the middle of the winter, man. I got you. All right? I'm keeping cover B, though. That's mine. I love that artwork. That's a beautiful thing. Check this artwork out. How nice is that? Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Yeah. And the story itself, Maxwell Prince killed it. Excellent story. Beautiful start. Seems like a beautiful start to a beautiful movement. And I'm around for that. All right? So there you have it, folks. I want to thank everybody for stopping by, checking out the channel. Thank you to all my new subs. Thank you for all the, 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 the encouraging conversations that we be having in the comments section, man. I think that's dope. That's like the dopest thing of ever, man. Just being able to socialize with people and, 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 and just share your love for, and your passion for comics with people that you, you don't even see. You know what I mean? But that's a beautiful thing because one thing's for certain is this. And not for nothing, just so everybody understands, I always appreciate you guys when you stop by and check out the channel. You guys make collecting comics and reading comics fun. I'm enthusiastic about it. Uh, I'm encouraged from it. And I just feel like being a part of the comic book community is the best thing in the world that has ever happened to me. So um, I really appreciate you guys when you guys uh, stop by, check out the channel. I appreciate when I get hit up on IG. I appreciate when I get the little chime saying that we got a new comment or a new subscriber. Man, it's like the best feeling in the world, man. Um, I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you guys, man. So thank all of you. Thank each and every one of you so, so much. All right? So not for nothing. I'm going to let you guys go now because I know you got better things to do than sit here listening to me rant. <laughs> all right? So listen, as always, I'm your boy C3, and we're going to keep it coming. Peace.